Yes boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 20 Ultimate Team player review video. In today's video, as you can see on the screen, it is going to be a review on the 81 rated Sissoko card. He's got a very, very good card this year. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a review on him because I just feel like he deserves to have a review on him. And there's a lot of people out there that are looking to pick this card up. He's quite an expensive card. I know there's going to be a lot of you out there that are going to want to pick this card up. So you're going to want to know how he is playing, how he is in game and just overall how he is on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team so hopefully you can decide whether to pick him up or whether not to pick him up from watching today's video if it does go on to help you out make sure you do go ahead drop a like on it also make sure you do consider subscribing to my channel I'm trying to get 2.9k subscribers now we're at 2820 something like that I've not a chance to thank you all so much for the amazing support recently I'm at 2.8k subs which I did start again on YouTube about a week ago and I got I've got over 100 subs in that time, so it genuinely is an amazing milestone for me hitting 2.8k. So thank you all so much for that. We're going to try and hit 3k soon. But yeah, really appreciate your support on the channel recently. But shout out to Packy Bale again on Instagram. He is the one that makes the thumbnails for me. He made today's thumbnail and I think it's really good. So thank you so much to him. Make sure you do go ahead and check his Instagram out. Drop him a follow. And make sure you drop my Instagram a follow as well if you're not already following it. It is McCartneyYT. But anyway, as you can see on the screen, we have got Sissoko's stats. Um, so overall, he's got a very good card. As you can see, obviously, starting off with a physical. He's got 89 physical being the best stat on the card. Um, one of the best stats in the Premier League, keep in mind. He's got 77 jumping base on the card with 91 stamina, which is very, very important on this card. I noticed when I was playing with him, obviously, the gameplay is going to come shortly. I will show that after talking about the cards, stuff like that. But... Um, yeah, his stamina was very, very good for me. I did notice late on in games, he genuinely did feel like he could carry on. And he would just run, run, run. He feels like a cheap Pogba, because I did play with Pogba on the draft. I've not played with him properly on all my team. But he genuinely did, did feel incredible. Um, and he just felt like he was very strong. And he had, obviously, the stamina, because he was lasting very late on in games. He just kept running. Um, but he really does feel a massive upgrade on how he's felt on past FIFAs obviously his card's way better this year does he deserve to have this card in my opinion I don't think he's the greatest in real life but obviously he's got a massive upgrade this year from 76 last year and he's very expensive so he does seem like he's a very good addition to having someone in your team like this um but yeah he's got 91 stamina with eight with 90 strength 85 aggression and then into the defending stats he's got 79 defending base on the card with um, 81 interception, 70 heading accuracy, 76 defensive awareness, and 83 stand tackle and 82 slide tackle. So again, overall defensive stats for him, very, very good. His heading accuracy is slightly low, but the interceptions, 81, very, very good. Defending is manual this year, as we all do know. You can't really hold X and he just wins the ball for you. So you do have to do the work yourself for him. Obviously, a lot of you may be looking at the card thinking, looking at the agility thinking, he's only got 64 agility. What's that about? He's going to feel really clunky on the ball stuff like that but genuinely i promise you it really is not like that in game i know i know why he does have 64 agility obviously he doesn't feel the most agile player in the world at times when the gameplay has been a little bit slow i feel like quite a few people have been on the servers i feel like he did feel a bit clunky and he just didn't feel the greatest for me um but overall, I genuinely do think his agility is not too much of an issue. He's got 58 balance as well, which again, not great. But I don't, I didn't notice that to be too much of an issue. Obviously, for 36k, it's quite expensive early on in FIFA if you're going to have issues like that. But this card does feel like something different. I did use players like Cyprian and a few other like Aouar. Uh, I did use them over him. And I felt you can definitely tell the upgrade from putting Sissoko in over them type of players. But anyway, he's got 82 reactions with 80 ball control, 84 dribbling and 75 composure. So again, very, very good. Obviously, um, the ball control, the dribbling and the composure is very important stats. You can tell he's got good dribbling. He's a good player with the ball. You genuinely can feel it. Um, his reactions are high as well. But into the passing stats, he's got 78 base passing on the card with 76 vision plus four because i do have a chemistry style on him um and then he's got 75 crossing 74 free kick accuracy 82 short pass 76 long pass and 75 curve so again passing very very good short pass long pass it does feel good in game he can perform a pass very very well 
Um, free kicks obviously don't matter too much. Crossing isn't very overpowered anymore. Obviously, the vision and the curve can be issues though obviously the vision's good enough in my opinion though in game and then he's got 70 shooting base on the card with 76 attack positioning 85 shot power and then yeah and overall not great it's in the shooting stats but you're not really going to expect that from me he more of he is more of a cdm in the gameplay i'm going to be showing you today i do play him in center mid i play him at cam in one game and then cdm for the rest of it i recommend that you play him at center defensive mid i feel like it's a position that definitely does suit him the most so i highly do recommend that but finally into the pace stats he's got 80 pace with 74 acceleration and 85 sprint speed so again very very good what chemistry style do i recommend on this card i recommend you put a catalyst or potentially a shadow on this card i feel like that's the best for him but overall a very very good card i highly recommend you pick him up i really do think he is worth it let me know in the comment section down below if you've used this card let me know your thoughts on the card whether you you do think he is worth picking up but in my opinion a very very good addition to my squad i really do think he's incredible and he is worth the 36k so definitely go ahead pick him up if you are wondering whether you should pick him up or not but we are going to jump into the gameplay today so without further ado we'll jump right in i'll be right back yes boys i am back here into the gameplay this is my squad just to show you at the beginning pause it if you do want to see it but this is a squad that i did play to soko in but jumping into the first game here of the highlights of sissoko um this was his squad obviously not the greatest squad in the world but it was a decent squad i am currently in division four i'm just gonna be showing you a lot of passing gameplay with him and he does score a few goals for me stuff like that but i did struggle to get gameplay with him main reason was because it was just difficult because of the position he played in obviously with a striker they score more goals stuff like that and I, I was struggling to defend at times in this game but this was the first thing he did obviously he was very good in the midfield very very dominant on the ball when he had the ball it was rare he was going to lose it and the passes he was playing were very very good he did end up winning as a penalty from playing the ball into Ben Yedder here so I did put him on the penalty and he does manage to get a first goal for the club on his debut I do put it just down the middle and we go 1-0 up with Sissoko this guy does pause actually that was to go 2-0 up we already did score um, I forgot about that but that was to go 2-0 up and then the guy does pause it in the first game and he instantly rage quits which was a little bit frustrating for me because I did kind of feel like I was going to be able to get quite a lot of clips in that game with Sissoko and he would have done quite a lot and you could have seen what he was really about but without further ado we just jumped straight into the second game this guy did have more of a better team he had a very very good Premier League team obviously I spent quite a few FIFA points on the game already uh, but diving into the clips of this game Sissoko early on there in this move did set up the passing play but as you can see he's just very very dominant on the ball he feels very big in midfield he really does feel like he's got a lot of power about him and when he runs he just feels like he feels very quick and he don't feel like he's going to lose the ball as you can see like and he's got the skill moves and when he does go forward just overall he just feels so dominant as you can see here it's the best he did you flick it forward and he absolutely plays an amazing pass right across goal and Ben Yedder buries it um as of always obviously it's not the greatest goal to score in the world but what Sissoko actually does was incredible and again here Sissoko on the edge of the box doing the skill moves very very good very dominant in this area shoots at the goal probably should have crossed that keeper does save it but again very very good from Sissoko great play from him and then again just some midfield play here and again, look at him when he runs, like no one can get near him. He just runs, 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 and he does so, so well with it. And then again here, he wins the penalty from an amazing run into the area. He genuinely did feel so, so good on the ball. That was probably the best part about this card, just how good he felt on the ball and how dominant he felt. But I do take this penalty and I end up bottling it and hitting the post. I just, I don't know, I'm not very good at penalties. But again, Sissoko goes on a great run here. Poor pass, obviously, into the keeper's arms, but... Look at this here from Sissoko. Great surgeon run up the pitch. Absolutely buries it into the corner. He's just he felt like he just he felt like he was someone that's a lot higher rated than he actually is. Obviously 81 rating isn't the greatest for a player, but he just genuinely did feel so so good. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, he was genuinely worth the 36k. I highly, highly recommend him to you. I really do. And again here, look, he loses the ball, gets it straight back. He just this in the 76th minute as well, he's still going strong. He does start to tire out a bit, but he just carries on going and then again on the edge of the box here 
tired, poor pass right at the end of the game. You could just tell he won the greatest. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the highlights. I've got one more highlight from the next game, but I got absolutely hammered in this game. Shout out to this guy, whoever he is. He really did dominate me. Uh, I got to be like 6-3, I think. So I only showed the first bit of the game. He didn't really do much in this game for me. But overall, I do recommend his card. I really do. I really hope you have enjoyed the play review as well. Let me know if you have enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts. Any questions you got, just hit me up on my social medias, as you can see on the screen. McCartney underscore Ben on Twitter. Make sure you do follow me over there. And my Instagram is going to pop up in a minute. Is McCartney YT. Make sure you follow me over there. DM me any questions you got. Or just drop a comment in the comment section down below. But I really, really hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have enjoyed it, like I said, drop a like on it. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. But that has been that. Peace out.